2 Corinthians chapter 6, in verse 17. Glory to God. 2 Corinthians 6, 17. Father, we're so grateful for the privilege and the honor of ministering your word tonight. I ask in Jesus' name that you will grant us utterance in the Holy Ghost. Father, make my tongue like the pen of a ready writer to write this precious word in the hearts of your precious people tonight. Father, may your word have free course among us, and may your word be glorified. We'll give you all the praise and glory for every good thing that will happen as a result of your word. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. 2 Corinthians six seventeen. It says, Wherefore, come out from among them, and be ye separate separate, saith the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. Amen. I want to talk to you tonight. I've, I, I, I've been going like, okay, well, what shall I call this, Lord? I, um, uh, let's just see what it says here. It says, be, be ye separate. Amen. So I'm going to title it tonight, Be Thou Different. Amen. <laughs> be Thou Different. Parenthesis. Uh, walking in righteousness, living righteously. Let's just call it that, living righteously. Amen. Living righteously. You know, many times we don't realize that how we live determines God's involvement in our affairs. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Let's just look at some scriptures tonight. See if living righteously has a part to play in us living in victory. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. You see, the way you live, the way you conduct your life determines whether the devil is able to mess with you to the degree that he's trying to mess with you. Look at John 14, verse 30. John 14, verse 30. 2 Corinthians says, says, be ye separate. We must be separate from the world. We must be different from the world. If the world can tell that we belong to Christ, we are out of the city limits of the blessing. Period. Amen. 14, uh, John 14.30 in Amplified uh, Classic, Jesus speaking. He said, I will not talk with you much more. For the prince, evil genius, ruler of the world is coming. And he has no claim on me. He has nothing in common with me. There is nothing in me that belongs to him. And he has no power over me. I mean, you don't see this on bumper stickers, right? <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> what does it say? Jesus said the, 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 that the devil is coming, right? The evil genius is coming, but he has no claim on him. Why? Because they, he doesn't have anything in common. He has nothing in common with the, with the devil, right? And there's nothing in him that belongs to him. And he has no power over him. Amen. Amen. You see, wickedness happening, evil things happening in the world is not news. It's not news to the believer. Jesus said, in the last days, you're going to see all these things. But what's news is it happening in the life of the believer. That's what's news. That's what's abnormal. You see what I'm saying? These things happening in the life of the, of the believer is what's abnormal. What makes it abnormal? What gives these things place in our lives? Okay? That's what we want to talk about tonight. Jesus said that this evil genius that's coming, that's destroying things, who comes to steal, kill, and destroy, he said he has no claim. So in other words, in order for him to do something in a person's life, he has to lay claim to something. Right? He has to have something in common with that person. Right? He has to have something that belongs to him that is with that person. He comes for his goods. So if he comes for his goods, you have no legal right to resist him 
Not when you have a stop. Right? It's like, it's like owing a man, owing a person, and they come to collect. You say, get out of here. I mean, <laughs> you owe the man, right? You owe the man. It doesn't work like that. Amen. You have something that belongs to him. Right? You have something that belongs to him. So you can't say, get out. Right? Now, if you don't owe him anything, and he shows up, you have nothing in you that belongs to him. Therefore, he has no authority, no power over you. Amen. You see, the new birth changed the devil's access to your life. The, the new birth made your life inaccessible to the devil. Right? Because the new birth took you out of the kingdom of darkness and brought you into the kingdom of light. Right? And the new birth made you a brand new creature. The new birth gave you the nature of God. So whatever you see in God, you see in you as a new creation. Right? Remember 2 Corinthians 517, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature or new creation. Amen? Amen. Praise God. So, so that new birth gave you the nature of God. The plan is that you, living like God, you will manifest the properties of God. Living like God, living according to the nature in you, you manifest the properties of God. Amen. Amen. But that's not what so many Christians are doing today. We've mastered the preaching on the blessing. We want increase. Oh God, my God will prosper you. So, the plan for the new creation is that you, having the nature of God, Living like God, living like God will manifest the properties of God. But like I was saying, so many people have mastered the blessing. Okay, we want the blessing. We want the blessing. We want the blessing. Okay? But they don't realize that the blessing manifesting in a person's life is connected to how they live. Are you seeing it? Is connected to how they live. Thank God Jesus came that we might have life and have it more abundantly. But he also came that we might change how we conduct our lives. Right? Because if you are a new creation, if you have a new nature, that means you live different. Amen? Amen. Remember in Romans chapter 14 in verse 17. We're talking about living righteous, righteously. Amen. Romans 14, 17. It says, For the kingdom of God is not meat and drink. What is it then? It says, But righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. What is the kingdom of God? Righteousness. We can even say righteous living. Practicing righteousness. Practicing righteousness. So when we're not practicing righteousness, uh, we're denying ourselves, we, we're denying our life access to the kingdom. You know, you can be in the kingdom, but if you don't practice righteousness, you deny your life access to the kingdom, which is in you, by the way. Remember Jesus said, the kingdom of God is come. The kingdom is within you. Yes. How do you manifest the kingdom? Through righteous living. Amen. You have to live righteously. Yes. Amen. Amen. That's what he's saying. For the kingdom of God is not meat and drink. What is it then? Righteousness. Righteousness. Yes. Well, we know that righteousness means you're in right standing with God. You have the nature of God. That means you act different. In it, you see, religion wants you to act and then God will make you righteous. That's the opposite. God made you right so you can act right. 
Amen. Amen. And it is an act and right that the blessing identifies with you. Yes. Amen. 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 Remember Jesus said that by their fruits you shall know them. Yes. Amen. Amen. One of the reasons the believer can become subject to the devil, again, even though he's been redeemed from him, Jesus uh, translated or delivered us out of the kingdom of darkness and translated us into the kingdom of light, into the kingdom of light. One of the reasons that the believer can become subject again to the devil is because of his lifestyle. Yes, sir. Lifestyle. If our lifestyle does not match our righteousness, we've opened ourselves up to the devil. And there it must go together. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I got so many things to tell you, but let's keep going. Amen. Amen. You see, you cannot live like the devil and at the same time expect the blessing to manifest. Amen. Amen. You see, God, so, some people want God to close his eyes and act like he doesn't see them. Why they are collecting the blessing. It doesn't work like that. Amen. 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 Light has no fellowship with darkness. Right. Are you here? Right. You see, if our Christianity has not changed our behavior, then it's not real to us yet. Right. Amen. Amen. Because our behavior is key to enjoying the blessing. Did you hear me? Yes, sir. Our behavior is key to enjoying the blessing. I mean, you look at it. I mean, if you remember Romans 8.1, it says, Therefore, there is therefore now no condemnation to them that are in Christ Jesus, huh? who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Yes, sir. Huh? So if you want the blessing of it, you're going to have to walk after the spirit. What's the spirit? The righteousness that has been imparted into you. Amen. The new nature that is in you. Amen. 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 Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So, the way you live subjects you or subjects you to either the blessing or the curse. Somebody say it's Nigeria, it's the condition, it's terrible, everything is terrible. Hello, pay attention. The way we live subjects us to either the blessing or the curse. Yes, How about we take a look at Psalm, 9, uh, Psalm 1. Praise God. Hallelujah. Psalm 1. We'll start reading from verse 1. Many times we celebrate, yeah, we're born again, we're free. God's blessing us. Yeah, wonderful. God is blessing us. But are we walking, are we in position to receive it? Are you in the city limits of the blessing? Are you here? Are you in the city limits? You know, I don't know how to do it here, but in the States, when you are in a certain city, you see a, a post that said you're now entering, let's say you're here, you're now entering, where, where are we? You're not entering Jahi, you know, or you leave Jahi, or, or you're driving towards uh, uh, Mpape. There's a post there that says, you're now entering Mpape. And each of these cities have their own government, right? Yeah. Which we call here the local government. And supplies are given to each one. All right? So when you enter into a certain city limit, the, the laws of what they do may be different, yeah. right, from the other. The blessing is, is a kingdom. That's right. Okay? The blessing is a kingdom. And in that kingdom, there are behaviors that the kingdom has to have. Amen? Amen. Are we here? Yes, sir. In that kingdom, there are behaviors that keep you within the kingdom. And there are behaviors that will put you outside of the kingdom. You know, put your experience outside of the kingdom. Right. Amen. Amen. So, the way you live subjects you to either the blessing or the curse. Let's look at Psalm 1. Uh, let's read it in Amplified Classic, if we could. Praise God. It says, blessed, happy, 
fortunate, prosperous, <laughs> and enviable is the man who walks and lives not in the counsel of the ungodly, following their advice, their plans and purposes, nor stands submissive and inactive in the path where sinners walk, nor sits down to relax and rest where discomfort and the mockers gather. What's gonna, what are we seeing? It says, blessed is the man. What we, the idea we get is that blessed is this man that lives a certain way. That lives a certain lifestyle. What's that lifestyle? The lifestyle that, that does not follow the advice of the ungodly. Amen. Amen. Praise God. This is so strong in my heart for us to get this. Because if we separate this, our, our enjoyment of what God has for us becomes a joke. We can't live anyhow. And the blessing manifests. Yes, Amen. 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 Glory to God. Amen. So we see that for the blessing, I mean, if, you, if we keep reading the whole psalm, I mean, is it, let's look at number two again. Look at verse two. But his delight and desire are in the law of the Lord. And on his law, the precepts, the instruction, the teachings of God, he habitually meditates, ponders, and studies by day and night. Okay? Next verse. And he shall be like a tree, firmly planted and tended by the streams of water. Why is this going to be this way? Because of the choice that this man made from verse 1. Are you seeing? Yes. Because of the choice he made in verse 1, not to live anyhow. Right. Not to fellowship with people anyhow. Yes, okay? And then he goes on to say, ready to bring forth his fruit in his season. <clears throat> he, its leaves also shall not fade or wither. And everything he does shall prosper and come to maturity. What, you see, people want the part. Everything he does shall prosper. Huh? That's the focus of so many people. But they don't realize that to get to that part, the way you live matters. Yes. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. The way you live matters. Yes. We can use the devil's formula and get God's results. <laughs> it doesn't work that way. Amen. Amen. What's the devil's formula, for example? <clears throat> stressed out. Let's say something is happening, you're stressed out. You're, you are so stressed out about the stuff. That's the devil's formula. You, you never get to God's result staying stressed. Because God said, do not worry about anything. Do not be anxious about anything. But in everything, just let me know. And then he goes on to say, stay in peace. Amen. You have to live a certain way. Yes, Amen. Amen. For the blessing to manifest. Right. Amen. 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 So the way you live can I, will either subject you to the blessing or to the curse. You know, you see, so, somebody say, ah, you forget what curse is. What's a curse? Curse is things not working out. Yes. Things not doing what they're supposed to do. The blessing, the curse, is the opposite of the blessing. Right? What would the blessing do? It will increase you. So if you're decreasing, that means the blessing is not at work. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. <laughs> it doesn't mean that the blessing is not on you. It just means that it's not at work. Because the blessing is on you by the virtue of the fact that you are a new creation. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, sir. By the virtue of the fact that you're a new creation. But the blessing being on you is one thing. And the blessing manifesting is another thing. And of course, you read in Proverbs 26 verse 2, it says that the cause, 
the curse, the curse, the curse, causeless, shall not come. So if you are seeing areas of difficulties, areas that doesn't look like the blessing, there is a cause for it. There's a reason for it. Amen. Amen. Let's not just pray everything away. Let's find out why is it that way. And the point we're making tonight is the way you conduct your life matters. For if we're looking for the blessing to manifest. You see, the blessing doesn't just show up to show up. You can't pray the blessing only. See, our people are good at praying. I was, I was talking about this in the East. You know, people would rather pray all night than to follow instruction. Huh? They would rather, oh yeah, oh yeah, they pray all night. But act like what the Bible said. Uh-uh, mm. mm. They won't do it. And then they wonder, uh, see, deception is very bad. Though. It's, it's terrible. Yeah. Terrible. And that's why we are anointed to help eradicate it. Amen. We got a vaccination for deception. Yeah. <laughs> it's called the word. Each time you come, go, Shoo! the word is shot into you. Amen. You walk around, whoo, I'm vaccinated. I cannot be deceived, praise God. The truth of God is abiding in me. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. You see, so many people are quick to talk about hardship. Boy, I heard plenty. <laughs> you, it's, it's like you tune in a radio. It's almost like, let me change station. I think, <laughs> I've heard enough. Let me change station. So many people are quick to talk about hardship. But not many people are quick to evaluate their lifestyle. Oh, yeah. They believe, they, they, I mean, the way they live had nothing to do with what they're experiencing because they're in Nigeria. Eh? What kind of deception is that? It's terrible deception. Because the Bible says how you live matters if you're going to enjoy what God has prepared. Amen. 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 We always have to ask ourselves, is the way we live compatible with the new creation? with the new creation, with the life of God. Because if it's not compatible, that which is reserved for the new creation will not manifest. You know, it's like running computer programs. There you have what you, you know, the programs that run on PC and programs that run on Mac. You can't take the one for PC and try to force it on, on Mac. They'll tell you it's not compatible. It's not compatible. We can live outside of the new creation, outside of righteousness, and then want to plug in to the blessing. It won't be compatible. Amen. Amen. Look at Ephesians chapter 4. Ephesians 4, we will read from verse 24. Ephesians, Ephesians 4, 24 through 27. Ha, ha, ha. Praise God. This is what the Apostle Paul is telling us by the Spirit. Look at that. He says, and that you put on the new nature. Hmm? Let's take it back to, um, uh, oh, okay, that's fine. That you put on the new nature, right? The regenerate self created in God's image. God-like, in true righteousness and holiness. Okay? What are you to do? Put it on. Put it on. Put it on, right? In other words, act like it. Put it on. Act like it. Act like it. Huh? You, you are made that way. Put on the new way you are made. Don't act like the old man. Act like the new man. Because the curse was made for the old man. The blessing was made for the new man. 
So if you want the blessing, act like the new man. Don't act like the old man. Each time you act like the old man, you open the door to the curse. So act like the new man so that the blessing can locate you. Amen. Amen. And it gives you some of the attributes of the old man. Okay? Look at the next verse in verse 25. Therefore, because you are putting on the new man, right? Therefore, rejecting all falsity and being done now with it. In other words, King James said, just put away lying. Yeah. Oh, jai, 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 jai. Put away lying. He's talking to the new creation. Huh? Isn't that what he said? Yeah. Put King James up there. Let me see. Let me see if I'm speaking French. Huh? <laughs> Is it, okay, so let's go back to the first one so we can catch it all, see how it's flowing. That you put on the new man, okay? In other words, he's telling you that by putting away the acts of the old man, that's how you put on the new man. Okay? That you put on the new man which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness. Okay? Wherefore, putting away lying. So lying is not, the, it's not an attribute of the new man. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Huh? Lying. Somebody say, I, you know, this one a small lie. Hmm? <laughs> hmm? White lie. Hmm. Tell that to Jesus. <laughs> yeah, you know who work now. Huh? But we say, as new creation, we put it away. Somebody say, well, everybody is doing it, oh. Everybody doing it. Everybody doing it does not make it acceptable. That's right. Amen. Yeah. Uh, you know, if you work in a job, this is just an illustration, where they say, hey, this boss don't pay us well. You see this 50,000 we left. Make we share it. And you share it. Everybody, you know, hey, we will have a wonderful Christmas. We've shared. If we depend on this man, we go suffer. What is that? Stealing. Stealing. S T E A L I N G. Stealing. Yes, sir. So I said, but we all agreed. Yeah, you all agreed to steal. <laughs> hmm? That doesn't make it right. But you see, that's what some people do. And that's why the blessing keeps eluding them. Right. You see what I mean? Our Christianity is not a label. Yes, it is our nature. Yes, and if we don't live life according to that nature, we exclude ourselves from the benefits of it. Right. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Look at that, look at that. Wait for putting away lying. This is written to new creation. Oh. Putting away lying, speak every man truth with his neighbor. Huh? For we are members one of another. Praise God. I mean, if, I mean, you think about this. If we would practice the new creation righteousness, we won't have all these stupid ethnic issues. I mean, it's, it's ridiculous. You say, oh, this one's trying to put this one down. As a child of God, if we have something against a brother because of where they are from, you know we have something against Christ. Yeah, that's true. People think they're dealing with ethnic group. If they're Christians, they're dealing with Christ. Yeah. That's true. They're dealing with Christ. Yeah. <laughs> You're dealing with Christ. Yeah. I mean, if that dawns on us, we realize, hey, man, we're not different. That's right. In Christ, we are new creation. Amen. One species. Yeah. Christ doesn't know whether you're Igbo or Yoruba or Hausa or Kwaibom or Efik or Fulani, uh, what else? Uh, I, I, Ijo, uh, TV, Iowa, right? <laughs> or Ibibio. Yeah. Hey, man. Are you here? Yes, sir. You see, those things don't count. But that's what people navigate to us to. That's why our Christianity is not real to us. 
When it dawns on you that you are a new creation, you start seeing your neighbor who is born again as Christ. Yeah. This is Christ. Yeah. If I wouldn't do it to Christ, uh-huh. I better not do it to them. That's right. Because if I do it to them, I'm doing it to Christ. If I discriminate against them, that's me discriminating against Christ. Remember who Christ is? The anointed one and the anointing. Now tell me how you're going to bust out the yoke when you discriminate against the anointed. See, this is why people struggle. For no good reason. Other than just... Mm, anyway. <laughs> Deception. Amen. Look at the next verse. Okay? It's telling us the things to put away. Be ye angry and sin not. Hey. <laughs> uh, instead of going around going, I will finish you. I will finish you. To let you know, I will finish. No, no. Bible says, be ye angry and sin not. It's not a sin to be angry. Just don't sin in the process. Right. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath. It's talking to believers. Okay. Look at the next verse. Neither give place to the devil. We can put it this way. Neither give place to everything that the devil does. But in order to be be in a position not to give place to what the devil is doing, you have to practice your righteousness. Amen. Amen. You see, not practicing the lifestyle of righteousness disassociates you from the provisions that are meant for the new creation. The blessing doesn't go, ah, there's a label on you as a new creation, eh? so I will land. Mm -mm. The blessing follows your lifestyle. Your lifestyle directs the blessing. Your lifestyle directs the blessing. Somebody say, I made Jesus Lord. Yeah, praise God. But if you don't live like it, the blessing will not manifest. The blessing doesn't manifest because you have a labor. That's what people used to do in the village. In some places they still do. I put my name on the roll call. On the road, so that when you die, <laughs> the priest will come and bury you. That doesn't guarantee you're going to heaven, no. Hey, <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> and of course, you go to call the priest to come and bury you. They will check the road to see if you've paid up all your dues today. <laughs> I'm telling you. See, those things don't matter if we're not practicing righteousness. Amen. Amen. It is the lifestyle of practicing righteousness that keeps us connected. Yes. That enables us to make contact with the blessing. The blessing is on us. It's available. Our lifestyle enables us to make contact. Amen. To make contact. Have you ever seen them? Um, <laughs> what, what is it called? Uh, they take the spark plugs, right? And they want to clean it. They take a uh, sandpaper. And the sandpaper, the, the drought that's around it. Why? So that it can make contact. A good contact. Right? Yeah. That's why it says, put, put away lying. Put away all the stupidity. Put away uh, the old man. The acts of the old man. So that you can make contact yeah. with the blessing. Yeah. Right. Amen. Yeah. You see? <laughs> we cannot substitute... Prayer and fasting for godliness. Hey, hey. <laughs> Have you ever gone to the market? Eh? There's, there's um, prayer hour in the market. Huh? Come that prayer hour. <laughs> Everybody. Eh? You, see, you see them praying. They shake. I mean, it's, it's hot there, you know. They're hammering prayer. As soon as prayer ends, the same people that was calling Holy Ghost fire will cheat you. 
will sell you fake telling you this is original. Hmm? Huh? See? So we cannot substitute prayer and fasting for godliness. Godliness is how God gains entrance into our affairs. Godliness is heaven's highway. God travels on ungodliness. Every anything less than God, godliness, he doesn't travel on. Amen. Amen. Um, of course, you remember in Hebrews 12, verse 14, it tells us to follow peace with all men and holiness, without which no man shall see the Lord. So prayer and fasting without holiness. Hmm. You can't locate, <laughs> you can't even see him. <laughs> I came to see Jesus. How have you been practicing? Amen. <laughs> Turn with me, let's look at this scripture in case you know if you have a baby boy, you have a name for him. Go to Obadiah. <laughs> Obadiah chapter one. <laughs> Uh, you haven't gone to Obadiah in a long time, huh? Go to Obadiah. One of these days we'll go to Zephaniah. Praise God. Obadiah chapter 1, Obadiah 1. Look at verse 17. Somebody said you couldn't find a name to name your child. This is a good name. Huh? <laughs> Obadiah. <laughs> it's better than Shasha, eh? <laughs> no Shasha. Uh, uh, no Shasha, eh? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, all right. Over there, 117, it says, But upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance. Zion means the church, right? Upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance, and there shall be so we can't just pick one side. It has to be both. Deliverance and holiness. Deliverance and holiness. If there's no holiness, no deliverance. Isn't that what it says? Upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance and, and, that means together, and holiness. And the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. That's where many Christians come. I'm going to possess my possessions. I'm going to possess my possessions. Where is there holiness in your camp? Because if there's no holiness, there's no possessing nothing. Are you hearing? Yes, That's what it says. Upon Mount Zion in the church, there shall be deliverance and holiness together. They go together. We cannot separate them. We cannot separate how we live from what, what we are desiring to enjoy. Yes. Amen. Amen. You see, godliness gives God access to your life. Amen. Amen. Oh, look at this. You see how we can separate uh, deliverance from godliness or holiness. Look with me. Look at 2 Peter 1 verse 3. 2 Peter chapter 1, look at verse 3. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Are you here? Yes, sir. It says, according as his divine power has given unto us all things that pertain to life and godliness. They always go together because without godliness, the all things wouldn't work. Without the practice of godliness, the all things wouldn't work. Okay? So he has given us all things that pertain to life and godliness. How did he do that? Through the knowledge of him that has called us to glory and virtue. Knowledge reveals to you how to act. Amen. Knowledge reveals to you how to live. So that what's in that power, that word, will become evident. In our lives. Amen. Amen. 
you cannot separate godliness from the provisions of God. Godliness holds the door open. Huh? Godliness holds the door to your life open to the blessing. Godliness, hmm? righteous living, holds the door to your life open to the blessing. Amen. Well, if righteous living holds the door to your life open to the blessing, unrighteous living will hold the door open to the curse. Amen. 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 You see, the blessing you know, the provisions of God and how you live go together. Amen. Look at another example. You are in First Peter, uh, no, Second Peter. Go to First Peter 2. First Peter 2, look at verse 24. This is something we don't hear preached like it should. First Peter 2, 24. It says, who his own self. Ooh, thank you, Jesus. Bear our sins in his own body on the tree. That we, being dead to sins, should live righteousness. And by whose stripes you were healed. Before by whose stripes you were healed, the purpose of redeeming us is so we can live unto righteousness. It is in living unto righteousness that healing manifests. Yes, amen. Praise God. But so many people don't pay attention. I want this, I want this. How do you live? How do you treat your neighbor? Well, that's not important right now. I'm dying of hunger. You better pay attention. Yes, sir. Are you listening? You better pay attention because you're ready. That's what it says, right? Yes, sir. Who in his own self bear our sins in his own body on the tree? Why? That we being dead to sins should live unto righteousness. If your behavior hasn't changed, that scripture is not real to you. Amen. Amen. Did you notice that it is in living unto righteousness that healing which Jesus obtained for you, for us, will manifest in your life. You have people dying of some strange sickness that won't treat other people right. And they wonder how they believe in God for healing them, and they go into special man of God for special prayer. Huh? It's a waste of time. This is what scripture says. It matters how you live if you're going to obtain something from God. Yes, sir. Amen. 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 We should live righteously. Because when we live righteous, when you live righteously, you, so many prayers you don't have to waste time praying. That's right. That's right. Do you know? Yeah. You live righteously because God said, you walk in my path, this will happen. But people say, I won't do it, I'll pray. Remember that Psalm 1? He said, blessed is the man, blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the ungodly. Blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the ungodly. But you see the man, he's walking with everybody, wiring everybody. Everybody that comes, oh yeah, everybody that comes, oh, he's going with everybody. And then he waits for special time for prayer. Anybody when they walk up for you, go, amen. And they leave. Think it's done. See? May I, I always ask people this question. Which God they answer that kind of prayer? The same God that told you what to do, that you're not doing, and now you're praying for him, Believing that he's the one. is the man where they pray for you. Now they confuse you. <laughs> That's it. That prayer don't even pass in it. <laughs> Amen. You see, but people like stuff like that. Hmm? People like stuff like that. That's why it's important for us to recognize what scripture is saying. Huh? 
We can't act like the devil and live in the blessing. We can't hold the things that belong to the devil and want the blessing to flow. If we don't change how we live, then we will live like strangers to the very blessing that we are redeemed to enjoy. Uh, Amen. Amen. So we're talking tonight about living righteously. Living righteously. Every area of our life must be squeaky clean. Amen. Clean, clean, clean. If you don't live clean, you have no right to expect the blessing. Oh my God. Somebody said, is it now by, do I have to earn it? No, you're not earning it. He recreated you. Yes, sir. You see, he recreated you. You see, earning it means you have to struggle to get the blessing. No, he recreated you yes. and gave you the nature that the blessing will recognize. Yes. All he's saying is walk in that newness of life. Yes. Amen. Walk in that nature. That's it. That's it. Somebody said, it's tough to live like a Christian in this hard world. No, it's hard to live like the devil. It's hard because, I mean, everything you do, he gets. And then, then he steals from you, kills you, and destroys you at the same time. Huh? <laughs> Amen. You see, I was talking to somebody in recent time. And they're telling me, man, they set up everything to just hurt a struggling man. I mean, the condition is bad already, and everything is terrible. And here, look, they even put a, what is it called? A mobile cart on that street. And you come around, they find ways to get money from you. I said, did you do everything you're supposed to do? You have your papers up to date? You have things fixed that's supposed to be fixed? Well, don't they know people are hungry? Uh, 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 wait, wait, wait. You see, you see, we live somehow and then we wonder when people who are not right uses our unrightness to terrorize us. How about close the door? Yes, sir. Get your papers in order. Yes. Somebody say it costs money. That's what faith is for. Amen. God gave you faith. Use your faith. Yes. Use your faith to keep people from harassing you. Amen. Huh? Use your faith to update your documents. Use your faith to get whatever they are calling for in your thing. Yes. Use faith to establish it. Amen. Instead of complaining, wondering, oh this, oh that, oh that. See, see. That's living carnal. That's living unrighteously. Hmm? Remember the Bible said, Oh no man anything but to love him. Amen. Amen. See this kind of preaching, you know, you are mature here. You're maturing and we're all growing. In, in many places you can't preach it. Everybody wants you to lay hands on them and bless them right now. Things are hard. Pray special prayer. God has already set us up yes. for increase. Amen. The blessing is on us. Yes. But the blessing calls for a certain lifestyle. Come on now. Come on now. Are you seeing what I'm saying? Yes. If we live a lifestyle that is contrary to the blessing, even though the blessing is there, it will not manifest. Wow. And no amount of prayer and fasting will make it manifest. You see, that God is so gracious. He is. That's why he keeps bringing us to place, a place that we can hear the truth. Amen. Here's the truth. Here's the truth. I want to do you well. I want to do you well. I want to do you well. That's why. Stay here. I didn't write the Bible. He did. Yes. Amen. Amen. He did, right? Yes, sir. I said he did. Yes, sir. Amen. 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 Look at Isaiah 26.7. Mm, 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 mm. Glory to God. It says, the way of the just mm, is upright. The way of the just 
is upright. If it's not upright, it's not your way. Are you hearing? If there's any degree of uh, kona kona, eh? like we say here, it's not your way. You must not travel that path. If you want the blessing. You see, so many people live compromised life. And then they pray all night for the blessing. It won't work. God is not the one withholding anything. You see, that's what I was having a conversation with somebody. Why are you bombarding heaven? They think they are, but they're really not. Yeah. We're prayer, prayer, prayer about this. God is not withholding. God is not your problem. Heaven is not your problem. Look in the word and see what God said. He said, blessed is the man that will walk this style or that will live this kind of life. Huh? Blesses him. Yes. Do what he said. Amen. And then the blessing will come. Amen. But until you do what he said, don't waste your time trying to bombard him. Mm. I mean, it's like having children, right? Yes, sir. You say, go do this. After this, you come get a cookie. Mm -hmm. yes. And they say, well, I came for the cookie. Have you done this? No, but I'm, I'm preparing. I said, well, <laughs> it's not going to work. And a few moments later, they come out, any more cookie left? It doesn't matter. Don't even ask how many is left when you haven't done what you're supposed to do to get one. Right? You know that's how so many Christians are today. Do not pass me by. Oh, how they sing that song? <laughs> savior, Savior, hear my humble <laughs> that's how we used to sing it back in that day. You need to like, like you know, shiver a little bit when you're go because that's how you know it's entering when we're. Oh, oh. No, it's a, uh, just do the word. Change your lifestyle and you don't have to act like you're shivering. Yeah? Just, just do the word and the blessing will come. Now, Mind you, they are, they are singing to the same God who said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. Huh? Do not pass me. Where did you get that from? Do not. When he said, I'm in you, and I'll never leave you nor forsake you. You see, people abandon this truth, and they go for lies. You know what that tells me? The way they live. If you understand this, you will be so conscious about how you live every day. Every day, how you live. How you live every day. You make sure, you make sure, you make sure that you're living righteously. Yes. Unrighteous living opens the door to the devil. Yes, sir. Righteous living opens the door to the blessing. You see, when you live righteous, you don't have to pray, 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 pray that the blessing will come. Pray, pray, fast, fast that the blessing will come. God said, if you walk righteously, the blessing belongs to you. Amen. It belongs to you. Amen. I said, it belongs to you. Amen. 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 It belongs to you. Hallelujah. It matters how we live. There's a connection between godliness and the blessing. Come on. That's what I'm trying to drive at tonight. Amen. You need to make sure that you're living godly, righteously. No lies, no nothing, nothing. You know, my wife was saying something to me in recent time, and we both said this. And uh, I think she may have said it better, but this is the way I put it down in my own words, you know. I said, because my faith is in God, hmm, and I know that God supplies all my needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus, I, don't, I won't have to cheat you. I don't have to cheat you because I have my own. I have my own. I have my own. I don't have to cheat any man because I believe what God said. You see what I mean? So I live that way. I don't have to cheat you. If I owe you a dime, I go give you. If I owe you a penny, I go give you. I don't have to cheat you. I don't have to bargain you down to the point that you are, you are not surviving. 
And you know people are so hungry they sell just to sell. Don't you be one of those believers. You know. You know. Be a blessing to them. Some believers are too cheap to prosper. Hmm? Too cheap to, to prosper. Why? Because they act broke every time. You know, you don't have to be without money to act broke. No. You know this is what they're, they're selling stuff. Let's say we're just using an illustration. That tomato is 5000 You know it's a general price. You know that. I know there are <laughs> criminals out there that would like to have been around. Hmm? But if you understand something is general price, when you walk in, don't go. You go take three, five. Uh, why not? Don't go. You go take four. Once you understand that that's general price, be a blessing. Huh? You don't have to chipo, chipo, chipo everything. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's okay to pay full price. Why? Because your father supplies all your needs. Amen. 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 Remember what we told you. God, God, God didn't say, hey, fast and pray, the prices will go down. Remember when we started this teaching a few, a few what, last year, a couple of years, whatever? Few price was a certain amount. Ha! People were shaking. How are we going to survive? It was 195 per liter. How are we going to survive? They're trying to push it. You see, the goal is 200 and something. No? The goal is 200 and something to push it to 250 per liter. <laughs> you don't believe these people. And I keep telling people, put your faith in God. Yeah. Let faith control how you act. Yeah. Live righteously before God. Even if it goes to 1,000, God that supplies all your need yes. will empower you. Yes. Yes. And look, it's close to 1,000. <laughs> Somebody say, don't say that, don't say that, don't say that. <laughs> this is the last days. Okay? And these last days, they're not the days for the weak. They're not the days for the compromisers. Are you hearing? Yes, sir, yes. You have to be uncompromisingly righteous. Amen. Uncompromisingly. Walk righteously. Amen. Tell the truth. Yes. Huh? Let's say you work for a man and they send you to go buy stuff. Huh? You, you told them, ah, this one will cost 10000 And you go down there. You say, hey, okay. How do they sell this? They say, well, we'll give you a discount. 8,000. Ah, ah. Take seven now. Ah, take seven. So you bought for seven. And you brought Oga the thing you bought. Hmm? He said, thank you, Oga. Here it is. Oga says, thank you. And you pocket the three. Is that righteous? No. Absolutely not. That's called stealing. He said, but Oga agreed to give you ten. How is your conscience going to power your faith? It won't. It won't. See, those are the, I mean, the, people talk about corruption. Eh? Corruption is terrible. Corruption is terrible. Corruption is everywhere. How about corruption in your own life? Huh? In your own life. I was in a, a place <laughs> checking out some things. And the man recognized just, just the way I was talking and the way I was dealing. He said, okay, this man must be a straightforward person. And I don't remember how the conversation went. He said, can you believe the way people act today? He said, there was one man that came here last time to buy something for his son. And while they were negotiating the price, the son, the son of the man, the son of the man came to the seller. He said, add 3,000. At 3,000. And the man was in shock. I said, is this not your father? 
buying you this. He said, if you need more money, ask him now. But you see, see, unrighteous living. Hmm? So let's say that man didn't know. Hmm? That man didn't know. And they bought, you know, you made away with the additional padded 3,000 or whatever. And you say, oh yeah, it's fine. Do you know what? It is a seed sown for future harvest. Remember the Bible says, God shall not be mocked. Whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he reap. And you can use prayer to override it. Prayer does not change the seed sown. Yes, sir. What changes seed sown is sowing a different kind of seed. Yes, sir. You see what I mean? Yes. You know, I, I understand you repent and forgive, but if, you, if that's how you flow, yeah. mm, the devil will help you flow. Mm. Mm. The devil will help you flow. And there are a lot of people that the devil is helping flow today. How about civil servants? Are you here? Civil servants. Believers. Believers. Sunday morning you see them shaking at the church. Oh, sha, 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 sha. From Monday, Monday to Friday, huh? The, the integrity is non-existent. You're supposed to be there by 8, you show up and you leave. Nobody sees you till 2 p.m. You have another business. You say, ah, this government don't pay also, so man must survive. That is lack of integrity and that is living unrighteously. And as long as you do that, you have disassociated yourself from the blessing. Small money may come your way. But you will find something that will wipe it all out. Yeah. Oh yeah. People see, you, you must be uncompromising. Yes, We're talking about righteous living. You know? yes. People talk about this person embezzled this much. This they didn't do it by themselves. I bet you there's a, a glory in that office. I bet you there is um uh, Peter in that office. I bet you there's a John in that office. Are you Peter and John for nothing? You see, this is our problem. Bible says that it is righteousness that exalts a nation. Hmm? People talk about, okay, yeah, we need prayer. We need prayer. We need prayer. Go read what prayer said. Come with me. What's that? Uh, Second Chronicles, right? I believe it's 2 Chronicles 7, 14. That's not in my note, but let me, let's, <laughs> let's uh, review it. Okay. Everybody here? It says, if my people, okay, God's people. He's not talking about the people that are not his. He's talking about my people. If my people which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and, and, and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven. Right? And will forgive their sin and heal their land. Did you notice that humble themselves and pray and seek his face and turn from the wicked ways, they are all connected. You can do one and not the other. Hmm? Turn from the wicked ways. He's talking, he's, he's talking about his people. Could a believer be wicked? Absolutely. Not walking in the path of righteousness is walking in wicked ways. Cheating people is walking in wicked ways. Always looking out for you and not for other people is walking in wicked ways. Yes, Amen. A young man was telling me, I think he had called him to do something, and somebody was calling him. He, can I share this with you? Somebody gave him a contact. You know, so, This man's boss hmm, 
his ogre needed something done in, on their car. So the driver found this mechanic to do the work. So the mechanic does the work. The driver collects the money from the ogre. Instead of paying the driver 10000 that's supposed to be his workmanship, he says, collect five. He said, but it's 10 that I, I told the ogre. He said, yes, but, you know, what you go give me? He said, take five. He said, no, but, the, and then the man just finally took another three and gave to the, to the mechanic. He said, I'm giving you out of other money they gave me. When they collected 10,000 that didn't belong to him. Tomorrow in church, they will be singing, Oh, oh, oh my Lord is good. Oh, 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 oh. My, see, we're tired of why you're Christians. Are you, are you hearing me? God is not hard at hearing. His hand is not short. He said he will make us shine as light. The word of God is true. This word is true. Let's prove it in our lives. By walking in righteousness. So such, such acting is a disgrace. They think they've gotten 2,000. Guess what? They've planted seed yes. that they will have to harvest. They will have to harvest. You see, people don't put two and two together. Tomorrow they meet a man of God, pray special prayer. Or they'll go to a place where they say, the prophet prophesy. Prophesy is well with me. Hmm? A man can tell you it's well with you when you're dying. It's well with you only for they collected from you. Anyways. But you see what I'm saying? That same person, huh? That same person. What am I saying? You don't have to collect from somebody because you referred them. Yeah, that's true. If God is really your father, yeah. it will be in your nature to do good. And if the man even tried to offer you, hey, thank you for helping me. You say, no, 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 no. I want to practice being a blessing. Amen. I want you to succeed. Amen. I want you to succeed. But today, some Christians, they go to Christians' business. They want them to, ah, bargain, 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 bargain. You know the mindset? This is how I think. I go to a Christian business. And I know they are doing what they're supposed to do. If they're charging this, I always add more. Always add more. Always add. Why? I want them to succeed. I want them to succeed. And Bible says, what I did for somebody, God will do for me. Yes, right. I'm, there's none of the people that has done work for us that at one call, they show up. Even if it's midnight, they'll come. Why? They're taken care of. They tell me, this is how much it will cost. And I say, are you sure? Does that take care of you? They said, yes. And I still add on top. Why? God said, I will bless you and I will make you a blessing. That's, how, that's, that's our mindset. Be a blessing. Be a blessing. Be a blessing. We have some people that don't even practice Christianity that one phone call, they show up. Sharp, sharp. Now, Reverend, ah. You know, one thing I like about you, Reverend, as soon as I'm done, I receive a lot. No story. You know, there are Christians that find it difficult to pay people. They didn't get that from God. They got that from the devil. Because the devil will hold your stomach. God will always give you more. If somebody did work for you, I know I've done, I'm, gone, I'm, I'm meddling now. If somebody did work for you, why would you hold off from paying them 
As long as you know they've completed the task. So come today, I wear tomorrow. I get something I wear where I won't do with this money. So let's wait. Uh, I get something I won't do. Well, why did you engage him? Yes, sir. Huh? Why did you engage him if you can't pay him? That person, they have family. Yeah. They have some things they won't do with that money too. Yes. See, you're not the only one that exists. <laughs> See? Righteous living yes. brings righteous results. Yes. If we don't live righteously, we will not have righteous results. Hmm? Some people will rather pray than nothing. How about you have people that work for you? You do stuff. Pay them. Yes. I, know, I know I'm preaching to the choir, but that's how it works. Some people say, some big men, eh? Hey, to get penny from them is difficult. It means they are, they are so poor, it's not even funny. See, you can have a, a big man, a big load of money and be so poor. Yes, yes, Why? Because, you see, if money is calling shots for you, if money is determining what you do, you're not rich. You're not rich. What, how are you rich? When the nature of righteousness on the inside of you is controlling your action, that's you being rich. Because that's the nature. That made you rich. Amen. 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 So it's, it's not money that makes people rich. It's, it's not money that makes people rich. Amen. See, righteous living. Righteous living. Looking out for other people. Yes, eh? Looking out for other people. Yes, That's righteous living. Instead of always looking for you. Okay, this. Okay, no. Let me look out for you. Yes. On proposal, not because there was a, you had a dream. Ah, you had an encounter. No, encounter yourself. Yeah. Eh? On purpose. Because you are the seed of righteousness. Yeah. And do right by people. Do right. Just purpose. I just want to be a blessing. I just want to be a blessing. Eh? I'm sure there are people that work, I mean, at the airport and places, they go to church somewhere. As soon as you show up, I mean, the kind of salute I get these days, eh? Like this. I mean, they see you coming from, they throw it. I mean, what I, I, I said to myself, all this salute is not for free. Uh, it's not for free. We shouldn't live like that. Righteous living will not cause you to live like that. What are you doing? You're looking to a man to collect. See, that's why we want to develop you fully in who you are. Know who you are. You are God's righteousness. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Amen. Just, even if it's just one naira in your pocket, you hold your head high. Oh, Amen. Yeah. Knowing that you are the righteousness of God and refuse to be intimidated. Amen. 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 Praise God. I don't know if I helped you, but I helped myself. Did you learn something tonight? Yes, sir. We must live righteously. Amen. We must live righteously. If we don't, then we're shortchanging ourselves. Amen. Amen. Remember the Bible said in 1 John 1, 7, I believe, if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another. The Bible said that the word of God is the lamp unto our feet and the light unto our path. We just do the word. We, ju we just do the word. So I mean, no lying, no cheating, no stealing. I mean, praise God. If you found one million that, that you didn't, that belonged to somebody, would you return it today? Absolutely. You should. You should. You should. Hot, sometimes hot. God does one that so. Hey, God has seen me through. If you knew that it belonged to somebody, you better return it. In this day and age, return it. You better do. Otherwise, you're sitting on the curse. Yes, right. Amen. Amen. Praise God. 